So, I'm installing the lower steering column bushing and uh, I cut it in half like I said I was gonna do. See, I cut it right through the tab, just the one side, and this cavity goes towards the center of the steering column. So this would be facing out. That prevents anything from getting in there. So pretend this is in the car. You can pull the shift tube down slightly when it's in the car by removing the neutral safety switch lever. This would go on like this. It would sit on there like that. It engages the neutral safety switch lever and it pushes the neutral safety switch lever when you shift. So you remove that and you also remove this nut, this bolt here, sorry, which holds on the shift hub. And you'll see you can have access to that underneath here. You see the hole in there? This is your shift hub. And then this is the bottom of it. And so you undo that nut. And then you can slide the shift tube down about like that. And you see how this wiggles around without that bushing in there? That just wreaks havoc on your shift lever. I think it would actually be in there like this. That's about the right placement. So what I do is I take white lithium and I grease it inside and out in here. Okay. And I grease the shift tube. And I grease inside the shift, the steering column. I grease inside there as well. Okay. Now you can do this in the car, remember? So let's pretend this is in the car. I think you have to remove the driver's side hood hinge to get access. So then you take this and you split it, you separate it, and you put it around the shift tube like that. And you put them back, you push them back into place like that. I got the bottom in, see? You take a screwdriver or whatever you can get in there and you push the bushing in place. You push it in place. You can push half of it in and then push the other half in. That's it. Now, look at how nice and look at that. I'm pulling on this thing. It's moving at the top, but it's not moving here. Not one bit. And see that, that turns nicely, nicely supported. See? And that's probably 99% of the times, uh, with the exception of the shift linkage is probably as much as fault, but this and the shift linkage being worn out is 99% of the time why your shift linkage has play. And I have a video on repairing the shift linkage. So look at the video when you repair the shift linkage that in my video, the way I did in my video, and you do the lower steering column bushing, you're set. Okay, just a quick uh, part here where I'm putting in the turn signal switch. So you can see that I put it through the hub first and I've got the Prindle light as well. And I've got the turn signal switch and you've always got to tape the top here. You have to tape the top of it. And I fed the wires through here two by two. I did two at a time. They come out here, see? I fed them two at a time. So I'll show you. You can see the, the hole in there. So I'll stick that in there. There it goes. 
There it is. Sorry. See it sticking out there, right there? That's it, right there. Okay, so that's how I did that. The last one's always the hardest, and then I'll just pull them through. You know, I'll pull them through, and then I'll put the hub on. Sorry for the jiggly camera work. And that's how I put the turn signal switch in. You can do that on the car that way. If the steering column's in the car, you can do it that way too. There's other ways to do it. You can tape them to a, a, um, a wire, feed the wire through here, the wire will come out and tape each one individually to the wire and then pull it through. You could do that, but this is off the car. It was easy. Okay. Now I'm going to put the hub on. It's going to be fun. These lock in. They lock the hub to the steering column body, not to this hub, but to the body of the steering column. I'll show you right here they lock into here see that's why they're square they lock into here there's another one on the other side right here you put those in like this they go in like that in these little cubby holes and then I hope you can see this. Let me pull this out a little bit. See, you put the nut on. These are lock nuts. You put the nut on one turn. One turn, that's it. Not more. This one's gonna be fun. And you do it one turn because you need as much length of the bolt as you can kit, get. Now I'm gonna push these back, see? I pushed them back with my thumbs. And then they fall out like that. And you try to push them on at the same time. You try to get them on at the same time. This is a pain in the ass, man. There we go, there we go, I got it. Okay. You can see by the gap that I got it. Now they're pushed back in place. Then you take your 7 16 nut driver and you tighten them. Now they're not tight all the way yet, but They're getting there. That's how this hub goes on. And I got that, I got that thr plastic thr thrust washer in between this hub and that hub, and I greased it. This is the steering wheel end of the steering shaft. Steering wheel goes on to these splines. This is the threads for the nut that hold it into place. And this is the upper steering shaft bearing. Now, if you ever have play in your steering wheel, and what I mean by that is if you ever grab your steering wheel and it, you can, it has play up and down relative to the steering column. The steering column stays stationary and the steering wheel moves. In other words, I'll show you this right now. This is what it would be like. You would grab the steering wheel and it would do this. Well, this has no sleeve on it. Right now, this is the sleeve. This is a replacement sleeve. The sleeve goes around the bearing and it takes up the space. There's a cavity it sits in, see? And it takes up that space. So you put the sleeve on. So you see, I put it on. Here's the bearing. It's got the sleeve on it now. And then you put that into this the space where it fits, and then you've got to push it back into place. I've got it in 
all the way. It's flat. The sleeve is flat to this surface almost. It's all the way in. Got the spring on and the clip that holds it. And now we got to finish putting the turn signal switch in. So you want to pull you want to pull on all of these except the Prindle light wire, which is the black wire. And you gently pull on these while you're positioning. I'm going to you know, I need to show you that. The Prindle light wire needs to sit into that groove. See, it popped into that groove. Let me see if I can get a better view of it. See, it goes in that groove there. See, it lays down in there. That's where that has to go. Okay, then you won't crush it underneath the turn signal switch. So then, pull these wires back, and then the turn signal switch starts to seat. It starts to seat into position. Now, this isn't in yet. Uh, sometimes it's good to do these one at a time. I'm doing the closest ones first. Pull on them. You can feel them. They, they pull a little bit. They kind of get bunched up inside. That looks like it's as far as that's going to go. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this has a little tab that goes into a hole there. You can see I'm holding it down, but it's all the way against the metal. It's not up. So I can see that it's flat. It's all the way in. This thing is in that groove. It's not being crushed by the turn signal switch. So here's the inside. I put the retaining plate on right there. Here's the screws, three screws. Hold that on. This is in. And then the uh, pointer, you can see I, I painted that with the fluorescent red, orange, whatever. That turned out pretty good. And then uh, let's do the turn signals. Let's uh, sheathe the turn signal switch wires and bundle them up. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so now that we have uh, the turn signal switch in the front all connected properly, secure, we're gonna sheathe this with this, the sheath that it's supposed to have. A lot of people leave these off. That's not good. So I bundle these up. I took a heat gun to this. It was very deformed. I took a heat gun to it and pretty much came back to round again. That helped. Okay. Now, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but there's a little line right here. You can see a little indentation. Oh, about, uh, three, about three quarters of an inch. That line is right there. So this is, goes inside. That fits inside the hole. It doesn't just sit like that or like that. You actually have to get it in the hole. So you have to work that in there. Not easy. It's bigger, the, the plastic is larger around than the hole is, so it kind of scrunches in there, you know? Isn't that a French word? Scrunch? Uh, that's pretty darn close. I'm, I'm pushing the tube in, the rubber tube in, and I'm pulling on the wires while I hold the tube. These things come out. Now these screws are a little bit longer than the neutral safety switch screws because they have to go through this plastic. But you have to be very, very, very aware of the screws you're using because they'll dig into the shift tube. 
so that you would think that these go like this on there like this, but they don't. They go like they're upside down. They go like that. They go on like this. So you put them around. Like that. And screw them down. And there's one. Again, upside down. I'm pushing this off the table. <laughs> it's hard to work here with a stupid camera in a way. Five sixteenths, that's what these are. Five sixteenths nut driver. Okay, that's how they go. And then there's the wires. Now they're properly bundled up to the steering column. This is inside the hole. And there you have it. Okay, so now we're going to connect the turn signal switch wires to the plug. I have it on wide angle so we can see all this. I hope it's okay. I haven't done that yet this first time because my new iPhone has a wide angle lens. Uh, <clears throat> modern technology. And then I wrote this up a billion years ago. And this tells me how they go. So if you look here, this is the orange yellow wire. First of all, let's start from the beginning. This is how the plug is sitting. This is how it's sitting on the picture. It's like this. It's not like this. It's like this. This is how it's, it is exactly on the picture. So the wires are going to go in the back of this plug. They'll go in the, from the back. And then the pins of the plugs will sit, stick through here. So orange, yellow, brown, small yellow. I wrote it here because you can hardly read that. Red, fat yellow, green, fat yellow, black, blue. That's the Prindle light. White, violet, orange, black. And that's all 10 wires. So you could use this to... If you ever lose track of where the wires went, now you know. What I also wanted to do was I wanted to draw for you what the pin looks like. So the pin is kind of like this. And then here's the wire. The locking tab is here like that. Sorry. So the this thing will sit here like this. The pin will go through it and it'll sit in there and this locking tab will lock onto the body of this and not allow it to come out. This was a mistake, sorry. So then when you want to get it out, you bend this locking tab gently back this way with a small screwdriver or an awl or something very small. I used this. It's a small snap-on or screwdriver. And I push, gently push the tab back. If you break this tab, you've ruined the entire turn signal switch. Okay? So I'm gonna show you how to deal with these tabs. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's one of the tabs right there. It's right here. Right here. So what I do is I take a razor blade. You have to bend them back out and then pop them into their hole. I take a razor blade and I go behind them. See that? See how I'm behind the tab now? And I just slightly bend it out with the razor blade. Can you see that? I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah, see? And then I pop it in the hole. This is green. This is fat yellow green. So that one goes in this hole. And I can hear it click, and it's in there now. See, it ain't coming out. 
Okay, so I got the steering column done, I think. And uh, turn signal switches in, upper bearing sleeve, brindle light, all that's done. This is all bolted up securely. The, um, see the, see the nut in there holding the shift tube? That's in there. The uh, slide away steering mechanism actuating lever, whatever you want to call that, is in. The neutral safety switch actuating lever is in. The turn signal switch is all hooked up correctly. See? The pins. They're all locked into place. This is on. Now, this is one of the first things you should put on. I didn't do that. I kind of forgot about it. But, uh, and so I had to stretch it on. I had to take this off and stretch it on. Practically broke my fingers doing it. But I got it on. That should go on before the shift tube goes in, before this goes on. So you can slide it over the steering column. Uh, but I got it on, okay. Uh, the turn signal switch is bundled up properly. Ground wires in place. That's this. That's ultimately going to go to here, where this bolts to the firewall. Now, I'm not putting the shift lever in yet. I'll do that later.